Well, for more on this jobs report, I want to get now to Bloomberg Surveillance, where PIMCO's Bill Gross is speaking with Tom Keen and Ken Pruitt. Let's listen in. Some of the PIMCO shareholders. But um, the policy of the elite banks is ground savers into the ground. Is that a fair estimate or is that too strong a language? No, I think that's fair. And, and it's not uh, necessarily the banks. It's the big bank, of course, the Federal Reserve. And indeed, Tom, the central banks, the big three around the world. I mean, the Bank of England and the ECB are doing the same thing in terms of a, a, a low policy rate and, in fact, a negative short term and a, and a negative five to six year real interest rate. And that basically robs savers and gives money and reequitizes, yes, banks and financial institutions and other corporations. It's a direct transfer, if you will, although a, a rather hidden one from the government in terms of low interest rates to corporations. Who represents those savers? Well, very few. Uh, you know, there have been advocates, but, uh, you know, it's hard for the small saver to complain about a, a, a deposit rate that's near zero. Um, in, in many cases, they're glad just to get their money back, like uh, Will Rogers said, in the midst of the Depression. But there, there are really four ways, Tom, that the government can haircut. I spoke to haircuts. Uh, can haircut an investor. One, they can default, and we're not going to do that. Uh, Greece might, but we're not. Second of all, they can uh, depreciate their currency, and that the dollar is well on its way to depreciating and to haircutting investors in terms of purchasing power. Third, they can uh, produce some unanticipated inflation, and that's the core versus headline argument that I you know, uh, staunchly um, advocate uh, focusing on the headline as opposed to the core. And fourth, this point on negative real interest rates. If you get a negative real interest rate for a long period of time, that's a substantial haircut and a transfer of perhaps 1.5% uh, to 2% annually in historical terms from savers to uh, institutions. Well, Bill, we don't want to let you go here without some investment advice. Uh, what do we do? Well, I, I think an investor needs to know that they're getting haircutted if they're having money in countries that have low policy rates and negative real interest rates. And so what an investor basically has to do is, is focus less on duration, meaning the maturity of their investments, and move money outside uh, those countries, move money outside the UK, move money outside the Euro Eurozone, the United States, into emerging market countries with higher growth, higher real interest right. rates, and the potential for their currencies to appreciate. Bill, in a minute we've got here uh, with you, I want you to redefine new normal. It's now two years old, maybe the definition's a little bit, uh, needs adjustment, I should say. What is the new normal? Normal. Well, the new normal, Tom, has always been a, a, a an extended period of time in Fed terms, uh, uh, which um, encompasses delevering of the financial system, and I think that uh, continues to some extent. It uh, incorporates lower real rates of growth for developed countries which are over leveraged, and I think we continue to see that. I think Reinhardt and Rogoff would continue to advocate and promote that as well, and it advocates uh, higher uh, real rates of growth for developing countries. It didn't necessarily uh, look towards the higher rates of inflation in developing countries, and so we might amend that and tack on uh, you know, some right. type of policy repercussions for developing countries, not only high real growth, but higher inflation as well. We're going to come back with Bill Gross. His, uh, Jay of, uh, well, that was Bill Gross talking about the jobs market and the new normal there. Bill Gross, of course, he is the head of the PIMCO Bond Fund.